Have you been thinking about doing foster care for a long time and you just don't know where to start? Today, in our quick two minute tip video, we're gonna share with you the best place to start. the idea of foster care can be overwhelming and intimidating. So today we want to share with you a quick tip about how you can get involved in foster care without becoming a fully licensed foster family right off the bat. And that way is to become a respite provider. So you may have heard that term before or it might be brand new to you, but essentially what it means is you will become a babysitter for another foster family. And let me tell you, you will be a huge blessing to that family. Everyone needs a break, right? So you would be the person giving that foster family a desperately needed break so that they can continue to do the work that they need to do as a foster family. So there's two really big reasons why we always suggest becoming a, a respite provider before becoming a foster parent. Number one is that it kind of gets your feet wet, right? You've probably never had um, a foreign child in your home before, a child that you don't know. You may have had relatives or um, your children's friends sleep over, but you kind of know them. So you're a little bit more comfortable having them in your home. With foster care, it can be scary. These are children you don't know anything about for the most part. And so we understand that that can be totally intimidating. But if you can take the time to be a respite provider and provide some babysitting, for another foster family, then you will be able to take a child that you might know a little bit more about because the foster family will have already gained some information about their foster child and you will have a choice to take them for a few hours for the family or maybe an overnight or maybe even a weekend and it's not a full-on commitment like it is becoming a fully licensed foster family so you'll really get a feel for if you're really comfortable becoming a foster family in the future. So that's tip, that's the first reason. The second reason is because it's a lot easier to become a respite provider than it is to become a fully licensed foster family. A fully licensed foster family has to do a lot of trainings. They have to have a home study. Their actual physical home has to pass inspections. But you as a respite provider have to do a couple of really simple things. You just have to get a background check and a fingerprinting done. And that's pretty much it. Now this will vary from state to state. If you guys have been um, watching our channel for a little while, you know that we live in Rhode Island and so all of our advice and experience is going to come from our experience living here in Rhode Island. But across the board in the United States, the rules are pretty much the same. So I would definitely suggest going ahead and looking into how to become a respite provider in your state. You will be a huge blessing to the foster families you know, and you'll get a taste for what it's like to be a foster family. So if you found this tip helpful, then give this video a thumbs up, and we'd love it if you would subscribe to our channel for more tips, and we will see you in the next one.